Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video and welcome to another new series on this channel. Um, my last video, which was Crisis Core Part 1, which a card should be popping up for it uh, right about now, I mentioned that I wanted to play possibly another Final Fantasy game or even Kingdom Hearts after Crisis Core. But um, yeah, I guess I'm kind of jumping the gun already. Um, <laughs> So I was playing Crisis Core Birth by Sleep last week, um, I was actually just playing it for myself. And while playing it, the thought kind of just came in my head and it was like, Cal, why don't you just play this on the channel? Because the way I see it, after Crisis Core initially, I was going to do Mortal Kombat 2, which I'm still playing and losing horribly, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. But essentially I was going to do Mortal Kombat, then Crisis Core, and then it was going to continue like that afterwards. So I thought, why don't I just add Kingdom Hearts on, because just to add a bit of variety on this channel. And um, oh yes, one more thing about Crisis Core. That last video that I did, uh, since I started YouTube, that video had gained... Uh, well, it's over 100 views right now, but um, that's the first video I've ever gotten on this channel. Like, I've gotten over 100 videos in like less than three days. So I just want to take this moment to say thank you guys for that. Um, I really appreciate it. But um, yeah, um, enough of my yapping. Why don't we just get into this game? Uh, new game, standard mode, and yes. Now, I am also going to mention something as well. Um, while I do know about, well, I do know quite a bit about Final Fantasy, um, I don't know much about Kingdom Hearts. I know that it is a crossover with uh, Disney, and I know that a couple Final Fantasy characters appear on this uh, game as well. Well, across all of the games. But um, I have no idea what goes on. In Kingdom Hearts. I have no idea what the story is about, um, but hopefully this will change things. Um, naturally as well, um, when cutscenes are playing I'm not going to be talking as much. Well, that was a gorgeous cut intro, almost said a cutscene. Also, I am going to mention this as well. I know I said I'm going to shut my mouth through some cutscenes, but uh, knowing myself, I probably am going to 
chirp, chirp in at some points. This world is just too small. Imagine you will be right at home. Hey, where am I? Who's there? Also, I'm not a voice actor, like I mentioned in the previous video, so I'm going to do my best. I'm a brand new heart. But this is... Why are you in my heart? The light brought me. Hmm. I saw it shining in the distance. And followed it here. Then you should join your heart with mine. Huh? Now our hearts have touched. Nothing else will slip away. And one day... You'll be strong enough to win back the part that already did. To win back the part that you already did. Thanks. It's time to wake up now. All we need to do is... Open the door. Quick thing, I am gonna say this right now. Um... Sometimes when I read, I tend to add or take away words. Um, I promise you English is my first language. It's just that I am kind of an idiot. So I just wanted to preface that just to give you a fair warning as this playthrough goes.
Yeah, like I said, I have no idea what... I don't know the story of Kingdom Hearts. Um, even though I did mention that I played this last week Sunday, um, I didn't get too far into it. Uh, I think I was maybe half an hour or maybe even an hour into the game. So I don't know much about it. And also, um, this playthrough is also going to be different for me. And, um, well, you'll see why. Well, for those who aren't aware of the game, you'll actually see why. A meteor shower. Land of Departure. Okay. So this is the current world that we're in right now. In the game, I mean. I can't see much from here. Okay, uh, press start button to view basic controls. Head for the summit, okay. Oh, not supposed to do that yet. Okay, uh, walk, run, jump, rotate camera, head to the summit, okay, so basically that. Jump, okay, let's go to the summit. Press X to attack the ring. Keep attacking to string together a powerful combo. Okay. You can earn prizes by defeating enemies or hitting things in the field. Green prizes restore HP. Yellow ones give you money. Money. Love the spelling of that. Your command deck contains special moves. Uh, use up or down to select one, then press trying to use it once its gauge is full. Okay. What? You want a piece of me too? Uh, all right. Uh, you can lock on to targets so that the camera automatically keeps them in view. Uh, lock on by tapping L and R together at the same time. Basically that. Uh, once you've locked on, you can switch targets using L or R or tap both at once to exit lock on mode. See what I mean? I almost added a word there. Alright, we got a chest. Ooh, I thought I was going to land in the water. Uh, sliding dash. You found the sliding dash command. Press start to open the main menu where you can install it into your command deck into your command deck. All right. Wait, what am I messing around here for? I'm going to miss the meteor shower. All right. Why does it seem so familiar? Oh yeah, this is the PSP version of the game. But man, even even for it being a PSP game, it's still gorgeous to look at. Give me a break, Aqua. 
Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Tara. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. But the light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ben. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh. Whoa. Here. I get one, too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well... That's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Obtain Wayfinder, one of the three good luck charms Aqua made for herself and her friends the day before the Mark of Mastery exam. Ooh, what the hell happened to my voice there? Borrow your friend's powers. The Wayfinder allows you to dimension link with friends and borrow their powers. You'll meet lots of characters throughout the story that can de-link with you. Okay. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Alright, and we have our introduction to the other characters. And also now we're going to get an introduction to their gameplay as well. Uh, this HP gauge represents your health. Run out of HP and you will be defeated. Use square to defend yourself. Press it while moving to slide. Or press while holding stall to block. Okay. So, let us block. This command gauge folds when your attacks hit enemies. If you go a few seconds without landing an attack, it'll start to drain. Once you fold the gauge all the way, you can devastate opponents with the powerful finish command. Alright, so let's go and beat up Ventus here. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, this isn't child abuse, right? Let me know in the comments. I think it is. But technically, he did say that we should hit. Never mind. Uh, using triangle commands instead of regular attacks to fold the command gauge may cause you to change command styles. Command styles make your X attacks much more powerful. 
Which command style you get depends on the commands you use to fill the gauge. You will unlock more as you progress. Some command styles are tricky to activate. Try all kinds of command combinations. Okay. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one on one. Mm -hmm. But you need to know how to handle a crowd too. Okay, and now it's Aqua's turn. Use your shot lock command to hit lots of enemies at once. Hold hold down L and R and a big target circle will appear. Use the directions to point the circle at one or more enemies and lock on multiple times. While still holding L and R, press X to use shot lock, which hits enemies as many times as you locked on. So basically that. That was pretty cool. Uh, shot lock requires focus. This focus gauge will drain when you use them. Choose a character to fight with. Um, let us choose... Well, we've used Terra and Aqua now. Why don't we just use Ventus for this... Uh, just for this occasion. Words. Trying to find them. Okay, let's beat this boy up. Oh! Spore again. No, I'm good. No thanks. Trust me. You guys are ready. We're gonna clean up at the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Power is born within the heart. During your travels, you can find new strength by playing on the command board. In this game, you roll the dice and power up your commands as you make your way doing... As you may wake in doing... Cal okay, uh, I'm going to say that again. In this game, you roll the dice and the power up commands as you make your way along the board. You can access the command board at save points or on the world map. The commands in your command deck become your game pieces and you can also obtain new commands jeez this uh font is a little bit well i should have there oh as i said guys idiot uh, move into the circle of light and press to x to save your progress touching the circle fully restores hp kind of like most final fantasy games yeah Okay, let's save. Uh, save here. Alright. Uh, of course, okay. Let's get out of here. Hey, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. You can definitely tell this was designed by Tetsuya Nomura. From the way the eyes look on the characters to pretty much their costumes. It's classic Nomura. Hmm. Together. Always. I also love how seamless um, the transitions from the cutscene models to the in-game models are in this game. Like, in the cutscenes, that is. Because you can see they're not using the same models. And we have Mickey. Oh, boy. My horrible Mickey Mouse uh, impression. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, 
Dude, what's with your eyes? Mickey. He has seen I things. Shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Dude, even Mickey looks amazing in this game. In this game, you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from the start to finish. From the <laughs> Each character visits different places and meets different people, and only by finishing all three stories uh, you will uncover these... Cal. Only by finishing all three stories you will uncover this tale's deeper truths. Okay, so now, in regards to this part, um, if you guys follow my posts in the communities tab, um, I did ask a couple days ago um, between these three characters here, who's your favorite? Um, I managed to get one vote because I didn't make a poll on that. And that one vote that I got for was for Terra. So just for this playthrough, I am going to play as Terra. Then afterwards, we'll go with Ventus and then Aqua. But I think I'm going to go with Aqua after Terra because the first playthrough that I was doing the one that I was playing for myself, I actually played with Ventus. So just for this playthrough, we're going to be playing with uh, Terra. And yeah, whoever voted for Terra, uh, thank you so much. And um, if you're watching this video, just let me know your name. So then in the next video, I can just give you a shout out. Yeah, so we're playing as Terra. Before everyone starts, anyone over here starts talking, uh, the Kingdom Hearts games are known to have excellent voice uh, voice actors on this game, well, the series. And uh, we have our first one here with uh, Mark Hamill. Today you will be examined for the Mark of Mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. This is neither a competition, nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me you two focus on the exam but Ven, you're in danger here go wait in your room no way i've been looking forward to this seeing you two become masters i'm not gonna miss it now he could take care of himself he's been out there training just as hard as us yeah stay sharp then We have our first battle, uh, destroy the orbs of light. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's try shock Ooh, okay. So he doesn't like, uh, Almost like, yeah, a sliding attack. Slide dash, I should say. Okay, that is really cool. I can't wait to actually try that out on different enemies. Jeez! Cool. 
cool slashing pose right there, Terra. Learned critical impact. Okay, changing command styles. If you fill up com if you fill up the command gauge by at least partly using triangle deck commands, you will sometimes change command styles. The command styles you get depends on how many and which decks command which deck commands you use. That was unexpected. I don't know what happened to my voice right there, but trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! So there's one thing I want to say. I think his name is uh, Arrakis. Um, when I was playing it for the first time and I found out that that was actually uh, Mark Hamill voicing him, um, it low-key made me realize that Arrakis is almost like an old Luke Skywalker character. And... Man, this is like probably the only time we're gonna get an old Luke Skywalker because and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua. As our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. I mean, see what I mean? Just like Luke. Terra, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? As much as I'd like to talk about Star Wars, this is a Kingdom Hearts video, so we're just going to keep it at that. He ain't going to cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. Yet again, I also have to commend the character designs in this game because they're just absolutely flawless and... I mean, it's Tetsuya Nomura. Sorry. But I, need I think I've said that for like the second time, but yeah. I really admire his work. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. <laughs> you are indeed strong. The darkness has nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you would never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. <laughs> he seems like a trustworthy guy. send my pupils to investigate yes I understand farewell that was my dear old friend Yen Sid as you know he is master no more but he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness his counsel serves as signposts road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. 
All the more reason then for concern. For he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat. One that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unburst. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Lastly, Remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity. A second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know. I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? He's so much like Luke in this game. Sarah, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. By the way, I don't mean that as a bad thing. I swear, I will not fail you again. Luke Skywalker is like the ultimate good guy. So, for these guys to get Mark Hamill to voice the master, it's a pretty damn good choice. Very much Garo inspired uh, armor. Watch the D Link with Ventus. While D Link, you can use other characters' commands. Press right to open your D Link. Lists. You guys are going to get used to that, hopefully. Uh, how delinking works? This delink gauge will drain as long as you remain linked. When the gauge runs out, your link will be broken. Delinking fully restores your HP. Refill the gauge by collecting these delink prices. Okay. Defeating enemies while delink may cause them to drop special emblems. Collect the emblems to power up the delink. Okay. I need to remember that. Forge a D-Link with Aqua. Okay. Unlock the command board for the Land of Departure. And we have our first world unlocked. Uh, let us travel there. Alright, let's dash. Let's try to do it. All right, uh, Enchanted Dominion, combat level one, treasure zero. Okay, let's land, let's visit the world. Square trees, ladies and gentlemen.
Well, that was almost Terminator-ish. But I can see a lot of inspirations being put in these characters as well. Monsters. The ones the master mentioned. These are the unburst. These little miscreants are also very annoying. And uh, you'll see why, but they're very easy to beat. You just gotta whack them like so. Uh, we'll have to lock on. Alright. Alright. Yeah, so... Because they're practically... From the dark side, I guess. Sorry, it's, I, I know I'm making Star Wars references and stuff. Um, yeah. Especially those uh, Unverse that we first fought. They tend to like turn into shadow and move around, so... Let's shot lock this dude. Oh, that was fun. should definitely use my let's use it and miss it as well okay. That was so cool. Oh shit. I told myself I wasn't gonna cuss, but um Oh that's that's what I call a finish. Um yeah, I'm gonna try my best not to cuss, but um if I do, I want to apologize in advance. No, you don't. Okay, let's get let's get this guy. Come on. All right, we got our first little sticker. All right, um, collect this. Collect the crown stickers throughout each world. Uh, then you can arrange them in the sticker album in your reports to rank up points. With enough points, you'll receive items. Okay, so I need to remember that as well. Okay, let's just check the commands as well. Uh, installing commands in your deck. Install commands in your deck to use them. Start by choosing Edit Deck. Uh, there are different types of commands you can install, like battle commands and action commands. Get to a command faster by setting a shortcut with square. Sorry, I'm actually scratching my back while I'm reading this. Uh, your current shortcut is highlighted in yellow. In combat, you can jump right to your shortcut by pressing left. Okay, um, commands will level up and increase as you collect CP command points. Defeat enemies to earn CP commands at the maximum level are marked with a crown. Okay. All right, so we have scan. Uh, scan practically allows us to read um, our enemy stats as we beat the crap out of them. Basically, the abridged version of it. Uh, let's save. Terror. Did I mention that the music is also good in this game? Because it is really good. Enchanted Dominion. 
Okay. What's this? Why aren't you asleep, boy? That fool Slora cast a spell to put everyone in this castle into a deep, deep slumber. Who are you? Why, I am Maleficent, as all who dwell in this kingdom would know. Now you must reciprocate the introduction. Who are you? I'm Terra. What do you know about those monsters? The ones who attacked me? Hmm. Now why would I give a thought to creatures so base, so inconsequential? <laughs> well, they are base, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm looking for someone. Terra, I wouldn't take them for like, uh, take them for granted. Uh... That name is not familiar to me. Is he an outsider like yourself? Oh, but wait. I do remember someone leaving the castle. Tell me, what was he doing there? I couldn't say. I can only be certain he was not from this kingdom. If you're curious, go see the castle for yourself. There, the entrance is past the bridge. Thanks. <laughs> Perhaps he did speak about imprisoning the light. The light could be so many things. Could he have meant Princess Aurora? Aurora. Maleficent's a pretty cool sorceress. Uh, come on. I will say one thing about this game, um, when you're facing off against enemies, it feels really good to hit them. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Hungry Crystal. Ooh. Terra certainly has a really cool uh, way of hitting his opponents. Ah, uh, and we've leveled up our stun edge. Try delinking. Let's try and delink with Aqua. Oh sh! Did I like and? Oh okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah, I know that there's a chest. Yeah, man, I will. I really wanted to try out that delinking. All right, is there any goodies here? No, nothing here. Okay, now we. Can Can I deal it now? Yes. Oh, damn. Aqua has a really nice set of moves. Okay, let's revert back. Aqua has a really nice set of moves. Ouch. Let's try and dealing with Ventus. Hmm. 
Ventus is basically the same as, well, almost the same as uh, Terra. Ooh. I guess that's what they mean. Haste. So that's what they mean when you get these. Oh, snap. Uh, are there any other goodies around here? Uh, I can see one by the staircase. I think let's just revert back. Ether. Haste will really come in handy. Uh... Oh, you... See what I mean? As much as they are easy to fight, they can be a little bit annoying. It's not that big guy is gone and... Damn, that... Let's go. Ooh, that was that felt satisfying. Yeah, I wasn't kidding, like hitting stuff in this game feels good. Okay, come on. Nice. I guess we can say that. Ah, oh, there's a goodie at the back. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to not use this because I don't think there's any more enemies after this. Yeah. Princess Aurora. Hmm. That is Aurora, right? I really need to brush up on my Disney stuff. Filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. Seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, they grant the power to rule all worlds. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Impudence will get you nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. Remember that darkness lurks in every heart. Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart.
Oh wow. Here it is. Just what I've waited for. I thought he would have actually fought that back. And he gave her exactly what she wanted. What did I do? What did you do? You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. No, you couldn't be further from the truth, child. I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. How could I do this? Then! Yes, now. You want to know where Xehanort went? Well, that I cannot answer. Man, Maleficent is like ultimate evil sorceress. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. Join me. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the worlds together! You seem to be mixed up. I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. Hmm. For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to chase? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> the Unburst. They're gonna bring down the castle. I, I think we have a boss battle coming up. But I saw a chest in the back, so we're gonna see what that is. And we got a Moogle. Okay, chest first, then Moogle. And, okay, wait. Chest, save, and then Moogle. Alright, let's see. Let's save this. Alright, let's go here. Uh, Moogle, what do you have for me? Uh, you've got quick blitz, poison, sleep, the confuse. I'm pretty sure these are what's under Maleficent's dealing, so I'm not gonna buy those as yet. Okay, but uh, let's head off to what I'm assuming is gonna be a boss battle. Let's just warm up for a bit. Nice. Dude! Level three, okay. Some really cool battle music, huh? As you can tell, I really like Terra's shot lock. Was that sus? Okay, never mind. Uh, Slide dash, level 3. Oh, two chunky boys. Oh, 
Ooh, that felt good. Dang it! Okay. <laughs> Take out the Inva. Invas. Unvast. Jeez. Alright, let's go. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. Come on. There you go. Oh, you son of a dodge, dodge. Dude, you got dealing. Let's get, let's use Maleficence. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. So I guess I was wrong in assuming that Maleficent's uh, D-Link was all of those other things that were in the shop. Ooh. Something's telling me I should have kept Potion. Shit! Uh, come on. Uh, come on! Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Come on. That's it. How much is it gonna take? Nothing? It didn't take anything? Oh, dang it. Oh, that took out a lot. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Retry, please. Throw that thing again. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh my word. I can't be losing so bad on my first playthrough. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, back to square one. Oh, this is so stressful. Damn it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need... Okay, I'm gonna take out Stun Edge, and I'm gonna keep Potion for now. Wow, okay. There you go. Is it gonna connect? Yes! Oh wow. I pissed him off. Ugh. Dang it. Oh, 
shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. That's what I need. Oh, I almost... I almost just killed myself right there. Come on, almost there. Yes, deck capacity increased. Learn diamond dust. Ooh. It's my fault about the storm. It was because I was weak. I'm sorry. Oh man. Once I learned to stand up against the darkness. I almost I died a third time. The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. <laughs> Obtain fairy dust, fairy stars, almost said fairy dust. Uh, Keyblade that provides a balance boost in strength and magic. That's gonna come in handy. And it would seem we unlocked other world, another world, I should say. There are other other worlds. So. Let's see, uh, we have Castle of Dreams, and we have Dwarf Woods. Uh, yeah, that Keyblade is going to come in handy, but it's going to come in handy in the next part. Uh, I think I'm going to end it right here. Um, if you've made it this far into the video, guys, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate all the love that I've been getting from that last uh, Crisis Core video. Um, I really appreciate you guys staying on and watching this video. I know I can't shut up about that Crisis Core video, but um, those views and stuff ultimately uh, motivated me to carry on doing this and all of the other content that I have planned. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and comment. Um, God, I don't even know what I'm saying. That I I I almost died on that last one. Um but yeah, I am I'm just uttering nonsense at this point. So I'm gonna say this again. Um if you like this video, like hit the like button, let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, if you like the content that i'm doing hit the subscribe button because i'm gonna be doing this entire series and i've got mortal kombat 2 next which i'm kind of dreading in all honesty but i will get past it and yeah thank you guys and i'll see you on the next video have a good one